I think we should make mention of something that, that we're going to do together this summer just to, before I forget. Cause I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so yeah. So you're going to be uh, an instructor on my website and a little bit of YouTube, uh, like a guest instructor. And I think we're talking about, I guess if there's still room for this to change. So listeners don't hold us to this. But we were talking a little bit earlier, you know, before the, the podcast about maybe doing a blues series, you, you kind of leading a blues instruction series for the for you drummers that are listening. Um, and I think because I, I think that, you know, um, it's something that we all think to start off with, uh, not just as drummers, I, I think you said like, it's the same with guitar players too. But like, we think, oh, we could play a couple of, you know, we'll learn some like simple blues stuff and then we'll just get to the better things, you know? But blues is an amazing genre that has a tremendous amount of feel. And, you know, I think uh, of course you'll learn drum beats from, from me or from other people, other drummers that you're learning from. Uh, you know, on how to play like a blues shuffle and things like that. But there's really nothing quite like learning from another inch, a musician who plays another instrument. And, and in the case of blues, you know, I think with you as a guitar player, I just think that would be really amazing and special um, for anybody who's interested in learning uh, to play some blues. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to announce that on this episode of the podcast because I've really it's been something that you and I've been kind of had had percolating for a couple months now but um I'm 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 just so excited about it and so we're going to do like some little some little kind of teaser things maybe on YouTube but uh the website is going to have like kind of longer form lessons um so I'm excited about that yeah I'm super excited so anything you want to say about it yeah I um I'm I'm just super excited about it I for me the blues uh, like you said, it's kind of the cornerstone of, of, of learning. And if you talk about learning a simple song form and improvisation, but it could literally be the genre that you play forever. And, you know, you'll always have more to learn. It, it, it's one of those things where it's has the lowest floor and almost also one of the highest ceilings and, in, and, in, in, in music. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's nice to, and fun to get into, but then there's so much to go there and the relationship between, you know what you're doing rhythmically as a guitarist and as a drummer then playing off your drummer and playing to complement your you know it's there's so much there and i think uh you know your um the, the viewers of your channel will have like so much to get out of that so I, i'm really excited yeah i think uh you know one of the other one of the things that was was really that that always has been in my mind with with blues is um and we mentioned this guitarist a couple of times but not really talked about him is stevie ray vaughn and specifically double trouble you know the, the the backing band and but but when you listen to stevie play his riff they're so rhythmic you know and it's so like his knowledge of like there's i, I remember seeing a great video of him talking about the texas shuffle and just like just these specific you know, nuances to the genre that I think, you know, as a guitar player, you know, as a, a drummer hearing these things from a guitar player, it's so important. Because so obviously blues, um, you know, the, the the legends of blues are almost all guitar players, you know, whether it's right. like B.B. King, you know, well, all the kings, right? B.B., Freddie, Albert, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but even then, you know, you go into some classic rock, right? And it's like, you've got Gene Page, right? Playing blues. You've got Eric Clapton playing blues. Um, and even at times, like in the earlier years, Jeff Beck and stuff. So right. this is I, exciting. I know. I, I, I wanted to pull this up because I was like, uh, you're talking about Stevie Ray Vaughan and his rhythm. And I, I always, Stevie Ray Vaughan's a freaking drummer. He's always... The whole time, he's just the whole time, the whole song. He's playing his 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 riffs. Yes, that's still going in the background. 
no, the whole time he's he's keep you know the drummer back yes. out the, the the shuffle will still be there because he's he's like you know he's keeping that going the right. whole time so yeah stevie ray vaughn is uh he's a guitarist he's a, he's a drummer he's doing it all and 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 and, and yeah. the licks are interesting and yeah man the, the, the rhythm has to be so tight when you're playing blues a lot of a lot of times beginners fall into this trap where you know you they think blues like okay you know it's just so it's a slow shuffle like the, the rhythm is super important no matter how slow you're playing it still has to be super tight everything still has to be super deliberate um and i think sometimes that gets lost because they think oh it's blues it's kind of it's swung and the lazy eights but a lazy eight is still very tight rhythmically you know yeah that's a great point and you know i'm thinking now too like just kind of what you were what you just said is kind of inspired this. this is like also how about like i think two drummers can get lazy and maybe maybe guitar players too you could speak to that but i i certainly know that uh a lot of newer newer young young or newer drummers can become lazy with like a slow blues which you know we think like okay you know it's slow it's not so bad i'm i, right. you know, I could think in 12 8 or 6 whatever you want to count and mm -hmm. you know and uh but the feel there is, and and there's different feels, right? You've got like on the classic rock side, you could think like since I've been loving you or something like that by Zeppelin, you know, you could think in like the R and B modern pop punk, not punk, but pop side, you could think uh, kind of like if you, um, what is it? Vultures by John Mayer, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a more modernized feel of mm -hmm. that, you know, but then, you know, there are some kind of like, like more traditional um or even like in like 70s music like like stormy monday or something like that you listen to those i think that's almond brothers right um you know there it's like the feel is so you have to be locked in and if you're wishy-washy with that slow blues time it all falls apart you know yeah um i think even i mean texas floods got a little bit of a bounce to it but it's still that same kind of feel you know that same kind yeah. of vibe yeah um so that could be a cool we could do we could kind of cover the you know maybe cover the all like all of the highlights of of blues could be cool you know sure maybe the series yeah. needs to be longer than what we're originally planning but but we can plot that out as we go <laughs> or we can do it like uh yeah we're we're planning it right now guys so uh, this is our planning session so <laughs> it, w maybe we can start with you know we can kind of showcase the different types of blues the rhythms that are associated with it and then we'll have like a drum part and a guitar part that kind of kind of complements that yes yes I, that's awesome that's great yeah. guys we just figured out what we're doing yeah so. <laughs> we got it guys <laughs> stay tuned uh yeah but yeah but don't worry you're in good hands <laughs> this this whole thing uh, but i figure that out yeah yeah um but i'm just i'm i'm really really excited about it um so uh, yeah, we're aiming for a summer kind of blues session uh, of lessons, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm so I'm so thank you so much for for uh, for doing this with me. It's going to be really fun. Uh, dude, I'm excited. I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs>